So this section of higher education, we will be focusing on porta cabins, diksha, uh, multiple uh, intelligence. We would be talking about emotional intelligence, some of the very, very important topics besides that joyful Saturday, Basha Sangam initiatives are some of those. So first to start with Diksha. Diksha is a national teachers platform uh, initiative of MHRD where you would have open educational resources for teachers, teachers training courses, lesson plans, videos, work worksheets, all of those imbibed under one head. And this would be a tool for teachers to interact with other teachers and gain knowledge about the same. So uh, Diksha platform is a very, very important and an expected question for this time. The next is Saranj. Now Saranj is an online assessment which is a comprehensive self-review and analysis for C CBSC affiliated schools. So it helps schools to analyze the students' performance, bring a school, teacher, and parents in a close network. So one platform is available for parents, another for teachers, and another for schools, where uh, they can individually understand what is the student's performance, what are the areas of improvement. Uh, Jawahar Navodaya, Kendri Vidyalaya, Central Tibetan schools, and all other regional and state schools, government and private part of CBSC affiliation can be, uh, can be working with Saranj together. So as we said, they have a different portal for parents and schools. The next is multiple intelligence given by Gardner and emotional intelligence given by Goldman. So both of those are different concepts, both of those individually important. Now emotional uh, intelligence is an intelligence which is considered beyond a basic intelligence which occurs at an emotional level or at a level where you have feelings associated with this, with a, uh, with, uh, a person and that is where you have the Goldman's concept. Gardner focused on multiple intelligence which talks about visual or spatial which focuses on understanding pictures, mental images, mental maps. Linguistics focuses on verbal knowledge, communication skills. Logical and mathematics talks about the skills which are dealing to reasoning, uh, logic, problem solving. Bodily or kinesthetic, which focuses on body movements, gestures, facial recognitions, eye contacts. Musical or arithmetic, which talks about music as one of the forms uh, and understanding uh, things through uh, musical parameters. Interpersonal is your relation with other person and intrapersonal is within yourself. So self-respect, self-characterization are some of the characteristics which are part of intrapersonal. So these are the seven intelligences which are part of the multiple intelligence Gardner's theory. Pota cabin, a very very important concept. Now residential school for the students in Chhattisgarh affected by the left-wing extremists. Now this has been temporarily built with bamboo and plywood and it was built that the life would be around 15 years however in five years they started to deteriorate but the idea was to reduce the number of dropout children from these left-wing extremist regions and Dantewada was one of the major areas which were affected by it the idea was as we said continuous education system bringing in much more scientific development basic amenities for schooling vocational skills are uh, bringing in much more programs together increasing the enrollment rate for the students the next is Pratibha Par. The idea is to promote and improve the quality of education in government schools. This scheme was released by Madhya Pradesh government in 2011. And the idea was make schools a festival of excellence. So bringing in academic performance, better quality of education in not only primary but upper primary sections, awareness in teachers, additional tuition hours, social audit reports were some of those. Now, some of the stakeholders includes Rajya Shiksha Kendra, National Informatics Centers, and so on. So, you have various challenges which are associated to it. But yes, this has been a very uh, purposeful scheme that was released. The next interesting scheme was Joyful Saturdays released by Rajasthan government. The idea was every second and fourth Saturday in the school would be a Joyful Saturday where extracurricular activities and co-scholastic activities like debate, poetry, story writing would be part of the curriculum. It would enhance a personality development for the school, uh, students and this would focus on ethical, academic, civic and social development of a child. So what are the activities and the co-curricular activities indoor and outdoor which would be part of it have been mentioned. The next is Bhasha Sangam which focuses on Ek Bharat Shrisht Bharat and exposure of students uh, of class 12th to multilingual aspects 
that means they have been exposed to various languages the 22 indian languages mentioned in the schedule 7 of the constitution uh, the schedule 8 of the constitution sorry and the idea was to bring in much more linguistic tolerance and promote national integrity so various activities have been given under that the next is dictionary of martyrs of India's freedom struggle released by Ministry of Culture uh, by help of Indian Council for Historical Research on the 150th anniversary of 1957 revolt and this included the list of various martyrs either from Jallianwala Bagh, non-cooperation movement, quit India movement, civil disobedience, Kisan movements, tribal movements and so on. The next is imprint a scheme released by Ministry of Human Resource Development in 2015 focuses on research, innovation and technology. This is a IIT and IISC joint collaboration for scientific research and development for providing solutions to various scientific uh, technological development and you have 10 sectors of technological development which have been seen here. The next is NIRF, the National Institution Ranking Framework which is a methodology to rank education institutions countrywide started in 2015 and the ranking parameter covers the following factors which are important. Uh, the next important aspect is IRA which is utter ranking for institutions of innovation achievement and this brings in a real impact on the innovations not only nationally but globally so bringing in entrepreneurship idea uh, development of innovation ecosystems building in much more quality research and entrepreneurship with global competition has been one of the ideas PISA is an important program which is program for international student assessment conducted every three years for uh, age 15 and above students focusing on three basic skills of reading, maths and science and this has been uh, conducted across 90 countries of the world and the basic skills that are focused on is creativity, communication, problem solving and collaboration. Again you have Vidhyanjali a very very important um, scheme it's an idea for course scholastic activities in government school bringing in much more creativity public speaking and storybook writing uh, the program is open for participation for all citizens including the retired personals and the retired professionals which are there then you have the national repository for open educational resources which brings all the digital and the digitizable resources together from the various school education and teachers education platform now swayam swayam prabha and national digital library are important elements for those swayam swayam prabha we have covered in a separate lecture so swayam is the steady web of active learning for young aspiring minds a direct question which could be asked on the acronym for the same it's a platform for integrated online courses using ICT covering 9 to 12th grade and you have various courses which are offered by NIOS. Now what are the various courses have been covered in detail in our separate lecture on Swayam. Swayam Prabha is by the use of satellite communication through the 32 uh, national channels the transmission of educational content across uh, the various ideas and Kishore Manch is one of those. Now you have NIOS which runs five channels one for teachers for sign language and senior and secondary students national digital library is a virtual repositor of the learning resources and this is a single window search uh, facility which is available for uh, searching across various texts present in the national digital library so those were some of the key topics that we have covered under higher education at least one to two question very very uh, definite from these sections these topics based on the past happenings you have a lot of contemporary questions that are asked for your paper so we would be covering with computing as one of the important section and the latest development in computing in the upcoming lectures stay tuned have a wonderful day study well and if you have any doubts queries feel free to post those in the comment below